Hey everybody, how's it going? So, got a real interesting package in the mail the other day. This is from Sweetwater, and it is the brand new Boss Waza headphone thingamajig, whatever the hell it's called. I think it's like a headphone amp or whatnot. Honestly, I'm really not too sure. So, what I think I'm gonna do is just crack it open, we'll get a look here, and just uh, give it a quick run through and show you guys what it's all about. But if it is what I think it is, I think this might be really cool because I think there needs to be a really good guitar headphone solution, and this just might be it. Boss, of course, you know, has a, an amazing reputation for building super useful tools, including the new Katana, which I demoed last year, which I think is absolutely fantastic for a beginner amp, that kind of thing. Hopefully the, uh, the Waza headphones are going to continue that pedigree. Let's see what happens here. So it's in the box. Ooh, get your new gear this year. Cool. All right. So a little Sweetwater catalog. Those are always a lots of fun. Here it is. A whole bunch of box of air. Did they send any candy? Oh, of course. Yep. The Sweetwater candy, which I'm totally not eating because I'm doing keto. So I will leave that uh, around here in the studio for friends, clients, all that kind of stuff. The thing I like about Sweetwater is they always give you the great big thank you, which is really awesome. Like that hashtag happy new gear from Sweetwater. Fantastic. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm kind of been working a little more closely with Sweetwater as of late. Uh, they're not too far from where I live in Canada. Uh, they're in Fort Wayne, Indiana, which is about a two and a half, three hour drive from Windsor, Ontario. It's not too bad. I try to make it to Gearfest every year. I've seen an awful lot of you there. Didn't get to make it, make it to it this year because it was either go to Gearfest or get to hang out backstage with Judas Priest and well, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to say Priest won. Yeah, there was nothing going to get in the way of that. Anyway. Oh, look at this. Warning. Do not leave this plastic bag within reach of infants, small children, or bass players. Anyway, let's crack it open and see what we get. Waza Air wireless guitar headphone system. Inspiring amp in the room tone. Okay, this is kind of neat. Now, I have no idea how the hell I'm going to be able to demo the sound coming off of this onto something you guys can actually hear, so you might just have to take my word for it. Oh no! Yeah, because I've been so deceptive over the years. You guys have bought all that horribly amazing gear that I keep recommending. So, some instructions. Oh, the headphones look pretty good. Oh, okay, this is kinda neat, look at this. So this obviously goes in your guitar. This is a, it looks like a wireless transmitter of some sort, and the headphones are obviously the receivers. These are very retro 70s inspired. I remember my dad having a pair of headphones that looked very similar to this, but uh, then again, they didn't say boss on them, so that's cool. And they didn't have the, the cool logo on the side and whatnot. So let's, uh, let's throw them on, see how comfortable they are. Ooh, that's nice, actually. And we've got a USB cable. Looks like uh, for charging. Hopefully there's a charge on this thing. So I'm not sure how all this fits together. If we gotta like, you know, install some software, what the deal is here. So uh, we will check this out in just a second. Okay, so just got things hooked up to my iPad. It was dead simple operation. Just connect Bluetooth, away you go, super simple. The app is uh, downloadable via the App Store. Just really super simple setup. Can't wait to plug this in and try it out. I'm just kind of trying to figure out how I can record the sounds coming off of these on the computer so you guys can maybe hear it. But I am gonna do a screen grab here and see if I can walk you guys through the set settings and all that kind of thing. So far it looks to be, you know, standard boss controls. In other words, dead simple, easy to understand. Just gets you through everything really quick so you can get to what's important and that's the playing. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna get a screen recorder going here and continue on. So got my Schecter 7 string, got my wireless. Let's uh, hook this up. See what we get. We're uh, set for clean, and uh, you guys probably can't hear this at all, but I can definitely hear it. Hear it. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, and you guys can probably not hear a damn thing I'm doing here. So I'm going to see if there's an output for this and somewhere I can record it. But so far, so good. There seems to be no latency at all. At least nothing that I can tell. Oh man, I would have loved to have had one of these back in college. Holy smokes. So we just reconnected the screen here and we're gonna click okay, we're good to go. And we should be recording here. This has got some really weird thing uh, which allows you to change your head's position so it's almost like, you know, your your tablet or your phone or whatnot becomes the guitar amp. How, that's, uh, that's definitely kind of different, I like that. It's, um, it's a new and weird experience. Let's see what we get here, hold on a second.
Cool. That's actually a lot of fun there. Um, so what we've got here is we can change this to like stage, studio, that kind of stuff. And it's got this weird tracking thing. So as you turn your head back and forth to the amp, it acts like a real amp in the room, which is really neat. But it's not exactly not exactly what I'm looking for in a tone or something of practice. I think it might be a little distracting, to be completely honest here. But you know, you got uh, whole bunch of different amp settings, which is great. I really like the brown amp setting. Actually, it's a lot of fun. And then you know, your effects, your boost, your distortion, that kind of stuff, delay effects, reverb, all that kind of stuff. And just turn all that stuff off. That's actually kind of killer. I really dig that. Now, I've been looking around for some information on how to record this and I haven't found anything yet. Interestingly enough, Boss has a commercial up on YouTube where the guy's playing it, he's jamming it and whatnot, and we're hearing these amazing sounds, but I haven't been able to figure out any way how to get that. We've got Bluetooth control for the app here. Oh, wow, look at that. Tuner, Tone Central, Librarian. Okay, so you can save all that kind of stuff, system. Okay, but it doesn't look like there's any kind of way to record into the app and there's no analog output for the sound coming off the headphones to be able to go to a screen recorder, which is kind of a bummer to be honest with you. Now, for all I know, I'm going in a completely wrong direction and the answer is plain as day right in front of me. I mean, like, um, it's not like I haven't set up a mic backwards before or something like that. I'm sure a bunch of you guys are like, no, it's like this, you idiot. But the only other video I could see online about it, it's the same thing. The guy's just jamming and you can't actually hear what's going on. But all I can say right now, first impressions, the tone's actually very good. It's very usable. Even the metal tones are pretty good. It really reminds me of some of the sounds coming off the katana. It's simplified, but this is just kind of a hookup and jam kind of thing. So like, I don't know if you're taking a long bus trip or you're traveling somewhere and you don't want to bring a whole rig, but you kind of want to have a sketch pad to write something on that seems like a perfect solution just to keep things compact. Basically, this will fit in your guitar case and you are good to go. So if that is your aim, this is definitely a super cool piece of gear to have in your arsenal. If you're looking to record it, uh, jury's still out. I haven't heard anything yet. But if I've missed the obvious, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know. But all I can tell just from the first impression, there doesn't seem to be any way to record it. That's kind of a bummer. It would have been really cool if they had like a little stereo mini jack out or something like that, where we could you know, plug into a phone recorder or some sort of laptop interface, you name it. Anything to get the ideas down would have been super cool. That seems to be the only thing lacking at this point, but if you want to get yourself a headphone amp for portable use, that actually sounds pretty damn good. Uh, check it out over at sweetwater.com. I'll put a link in the description. You can follow that and uh, get, go get your hands on it. It's super easy to set up. It's super easy to use and it sounds pretty damn good. This would make a hell of a Christmas gift, to be honest with you. I would have loved to have something like this as a broke college student. This would have been fantastic with all the traveling I did on buses to get back and forth. School every day would have been just great to sit at a bus stop, plug in and jam away. Would have been awesome. Anyway, thanks again to Sweetwater. Follow the links in the description below and I will see you guys next time.